We've spoken about it, right? The mystery of the aliens. We explained it. Because the Bible says in Genesis chapter 6, how that the world grew wickedly. Is that true? Is that in your Bible? And the Bible says the sons of God. I told you that word son of God is not technon or wheels of God. It was just a name. Demonic forces, spirit beings, superhuman people. The Bible says they came and they slept with the daughters of men. Is that true? And they gave birth to an aberration. Half man, half human being. We call them giants. Nephilims. They are still alive till today. And the Bible says before the coming of Christ, it will be like the days of Noah again. That means there will be a repetition of that event. It's already happening. The unidentified flying objects, UFOs. Hello planet Earth. I shall not die. You better know what you need to know to live. Otherwise it will be a hateful time of life. I have a documentary i have a documentary where people were digging into the earth realm when they were digging they found a place that could take twenty thousand people below the earth and it was made by aliens i have a documentary where these aliens have had meetings with united state presidents right from 1914s they are alive they are around they are in the earth let CNN fool you. Let me tell you, when the church is raptured, this book will become a rebest seller again because every historian will buy it to try to understand everything this Bible said will come to pass. Every. Hallelujah. There are many realms. The dream realm is the realm of the spirit. Your dream realm is a real realm in the spirit. It's not those psychosomatic, psycho whatever you know, uh, subconscious, all this, anything that is not physical is spiritual, period. Hallelujah. God came to Solomon in a dream. Was it, was it a mirage? It was a real solid experience. Joseph had an encounter not to leave Mary in a dream. A dream realm is a real realm. That's why somebody can have something in a dream and wake up physically. Is that true? Have you seen people sleep and they flog them and they woke up with physical marks all over there? Have you seen that happen? So how did that happen? Thank you, Jesus. The second thing I want you to know is that Satan is real. Everybody said, one to go. Satan is real. Listen, one of the things that secular humanism is promoting in the Western world and is creeping gradually into Africa is that Satan is trying to convince men using the tool of intellectualism that he does not exist. So people now teach, even men of God in church, they say the only devil that is there is your inner mind. Have you had those kind of psychopathic, devilish Christian science teachings? The only devil is the one in your mind. And if you can shift your mind away, you bring out your limited you. Ah, be careful, oh. Be very careful. Some of those teachings, the Bible says, in the latter days, men will give themselves to deceptive spirits. Different demons have appeared to people and brought all kinds of theology that we promote in the body of Christ right now. Satan is real. Satan is not a mirage. Satan is not one bull with horns as Freemasons tell us. Or the one you see in Tom and Jerry. Or all of those cartoons. Let me tell you the truth. Satan is real. Everybody say it. Satan is real. Demons are real. Say it. And wickedness is real. Satan is real. The Bible says when the sons of God came to meet with God, Satan was part of, their, of them. A real person. And God looked at him and said, Ah, oh boy, where are you coming from? He said, going to and fro. He's a living thing. He's not a flower. Satan is not fire. He's a living thing. He can move. Only God knows how many times he has passed your street. <laughs> not demons. The real Satan himself. Hallelujah. I also want you to know 
that there are three qualities that make Satan not to be like God. Or there are three qualities that will test everything and put God in a position where he is alone. Number one, omniscience. Omniscience is the ability to know all things. Satan does not know all things. Please get this straight to your mind. Satan does not know all things. For instance, what you will become. Satan does not know. The Bible says, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear. He said, eye has not seen. Any kind of eye, it has not seen. Nor ear heard. There are ways in the realm of the spirit that Satan can peep and have an idea. This is what soothsayers and diviners and necromancers, they can use stargazing and astrology to predict certain things. And wow people and perform magic like the Egyptian magicians. Hallelujah. Satan is real. Demons are real. Wickedness is real. Satan is not omniscient. He does not know all things. If he knew all things, he would have known where Moses was hiding and not waste time killing everybody. If he knew all things, he would have gone to kill Jesus at once. His trial and error. See, do you know why Satan killed Cain? I've told you. There was a prophecy in the Garden of Eden. The seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. Eve gives birth to Cain. And Satan thought that Cain is the seed of the woman. So he came and entered Cain. Then he was shocked. And when he found out that they gave birth to another child, he said, Cain, kill Abel in case Abel is the seed of the woman. Are you seeing that? When Moses was born, Satan thought Moses was the seed of the woman. Then he missed it again. He kept, that's why when John the Baptist was born, and he began to manifest. He moved through the scribes to ask him, Are you the Messiah? In other words, let's verify. And Moses, I mean, Elijah, um, John the Baptist kept confusing them. He said, I'm a voice. They said, Don't confuse us. Who are you? We want to kill you. That's why Herodias asked for his head. What will you do with the head of the man? That's why when Jesus said, All right, I'm not hiding it again. I am. They started following him till he died. So it was a plan. Satan killed. I mean, Jesus allowed Satan through people to kill him. And I will tell you why. It's still a law in the realm of the spirit. If you kill a man, the person's blood is permitted to haunt you for life. We'll talk about that. Don't worry. John 8 44. Who is Satan? Who is this guy called Satan that has threatened people? When you are going home alone, you just are hearing sounds that you shouldn't hear because you are afraid. You, there is Satan. If you watch a Nigerian film, we watched one fearful film years ago called, uh, what they call it, Ultimate Power. Ha! That film was not very encouraging. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. It says he was a murderer. From the beginning. Ah, ah. That's a terrible description. That means there is a story we don't know. Where is the story that brought Satan as a murderer? There are hidden stories enshrined. So Jesus was saying, I know this guy, yo. There are lots of stories you don't know. You just know Genesis from 1 verse 2. There is a lot more. Even part of his archives was that he was once a murderer. When did this happen? From the beginning. And he abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. He said when he speaketh. He speaketh a lie of his own. He said for he's a liar. And the originator of all them that lie. The word lie there is not just negating the truth. It's deception. Satan is a deceiver. His, his character is to deceive. He deceived the whole world. The badge of Satan is deception. What is deception? To make men err from the truth. He says, ye err not knowing the scriptures. Deception. So every time the spirit of the Antichrist is manifesting in a place, there is deception. I spoke about that prophetic insight into God's agenda. You can get the teaching. Deception. Hallelujah. 
Let's hurry up. Revelations 12 verse, verse 9. Revelations 12, I believe verse 9. Let's turn there quickly. It, or verse 7. Let's start from verse 7. It gives us another history that many of you may have not paid attention to. And there was war in... Why will there not be war on earth when even in heaven there was war? Is that in your Bible? Heaven, there was war. Michael and his angels fought against who? The dragon. And the dragon fought against his angels. This was Satan. And prevailed not. Neither was there found a place for him in heaven. This was the judgment before Genesis 1 verse 2. Listen. The Bible says in Genesis 1 1. It says in the beginning. The beginning of beginnings. Deathless past. It says God.